Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will discuss about the melecoplakia. So melecoplakia is a Greek word composed of two words, meleko, which means the soft, and the plakos, which means the plague. So it is a mass forming lesion, which can commonly mimic with the uh, carcinoma when we see it grossly. But by definition, histologically, it is the histocytic and the fibroinflammatory infiltrate, which characterized by the cytoplasmic inclusion. We will further elaborate this definition when we will discuss about the histology and why there is a formation of the cytoplasmic inclusion and which stain is used to highlight those cytoplasmic inclusion. This lesion can occur anywhere, but the most common site is the bladder and while it can occur in colon, stomach, duodenum, and into the central nervous system. In terms of epidemiology, this disease or this lesion is mainly seen in the immunocompromised individual, includes HIV, renal transplant recipient, or mostly compared to male versus female ratio, 75% of the time it occurs in the female or in the woman. The mean age of diagnosis of this lesion is the fifth decade. While in terms of pathophysiology and the etiology, so the pathophysiology is for this lesion is that when there are recurrent uh, infection with the gram negative uh, bacteria, especially the E. coli or the protease, there is a defect in the phagocytic system of the histocytes for which the bacteria, when they are engulfed by the histocytes, they remain into the cytoplasm of those histocytes because of the defect in the degradative system, they remains there and ultimately they are calcified. So when they are calcified, they are known as the Michael's Gutman bodies. This name is after the uh, doctor which uh, initially described those uh, lesions. Well, in terms of the clinical features is it commonly occurs with the recurrent infection. So when there is a infection in the urinary bladder. So the patient present with the common symptoms of the urinary tract infection. While when we look at this lesion in a grass, this looks like a yellowish soft and the raised are the plaques like lesion, which grossly can mimic with the carcinoma as well. But when we look at in the histology, we can see there's a complete a diffuse sheets of the mass forming histocytes which contains the this black uh, big, uh, black uh, crystal of the calcium, which commonly represent the calcified bacteria, because there is a degradative uh, defect into the phagocytes, which cannot completely degrade it. If we go on the high power, we can this arrow shows this uh, calcified uh, type of the uh, bacterial material inside this huge histocytes. And uh, what are the ancillary tests to highlight those? So in terms, if we need to highlight those histo uh, histocytes, we commonly perform CD68, which, is, which stains the histocytes. And in order to highlight those calcium particles or those calcified bacteria, we commonly use von Cosa. So without the highlighting those uh, cytoplasmic uh, lesions or the cytoplasmic crystals, we cannot diagnose the melecoplakia. And we commonly perform cytokeratins, but they are usually negative in those histocytes, but they are commonly positive in the upper line, the epithelia. So this is the warm consa stain. It is a black stain, which is positive in those cytoplasmic lesions and it highlights those Michael's Goodman bodies. So this is the end of my video. Thank you so much.